Hey there, and welcome to another episode of Average Previews. Today's game is called Children of Morta. It is developed by Dead Mage and published by 11-Bit Studios. And uh, the description goes as follows. Children of Morta is a story-driven action RPG game about an extraordinary family of heroes. Lead the Bergsons with all their flaws and virtues against the forthcoming corruption. Will you be able to sacrifice everything to save the ones you care for? And I'll just uh, warn you that this episode will contain spoilers, at least from the side story. I'm gonna showcase this right here. This is a side thing. Uh, world building and such and it might potentially also include main story spoilers depending on how well I do in the dungeons but let's start with this so you can hear some narration why would the mountain god corrupt the world what kind of evil was it that brought it forth for Margaret these questions were as important as where and how These are the uh, small pits here. The corruption of the whole world. An idea must know more about the mountain god. Yeah. You have the library. Where when you find stuff in the dungeons. Then it appears here. So that's cool. For example I found this. Kaldipo Caves. Missing caravan. The caravan went missing several days ago. Due to, the, due to the cave's proximity to the grove, Drake called in that favor I owed him. Maybe now he can let that whole fiasco in the barren seas go. Rhea forgave me for thinking wood would float on water, but I digress. We continue to search for the caravan in the morning. Field report, Adam. Yeah, that cave is the first dungeon in the game. What was she saying? What a great day! Oh, there is more here. I'm really curious to see how Grandma could affect the outcome of events. Right? The past holds both the joy and bitterness of time. Sheila could help them, as John said, but Ben could not bring himself to overlook the sting of their past relationship. Right. So I just unlocked the Book of Rhea. And there is also the um, workshop, which gives you permanent pass to your entire family, all characters. So I have uh, movement speed, I have maximum health, damage, and I unlock the critical chance from fire by beating the first boss. And Book of Rhea has other bonuses like this here. Increases the efficiency of obelisk effects. Obelisks are... you'll see in a moment. Let's start the game. So the game uh, is uh, has roguelite elements in the sense that it is a dungeon crawler. So you go into the dungeon, I'll show you the first dungeon first because I'm familiar with that one. I have not gone into this one yet. I unlocked this just before I started recording. So let's go here. So I have three characters. The game is built on co-op as you can see but uh, some of the sections where you sh should have multiple characters, uh, the other character appears out of thin air, like, to uh, make it work, basically. So my favorite character is uh, Linda, and I have only played twice with Kevin so far, but Kevin is pretty fun as well. But Linda is my favorite. Oh, and also, when you level them up, uh, for example, I leveled uh, Linda to level 5, then I unlocked this. My uh, all characters will now move faster. And when I got the John, or level 4, sorry. And when I got John to level 4, then I unlocked this. Max health for all family members. So these are bonuses that uh, 
make it worth it, even if you don't like one of the classes or characters, then uh, you should play as them sometimes to level them up, because your favorite class or character will also level up. But all in all, I like them all. Sh uh, he's a shield wearer, she's an archer. And uh, Kevin is a rogue, uses uh, two daggers, so really fast attacks. But funnily, the archer is the one I always reach the boss with. And I also beat the boss with her. I can't even reach the boss with the John for some reason. I guess I'm too reckless when I'm using a shield. I really like the con- I'm using a controller and I really like the controller support. The con- Using the controller feels really, really good. The game also looks graphically, aesthetically really nice. I like the details in it, in the world, in the maps. And the animations and the characters. Oh, hello. Obelisk of skill greatly increases critical chance. So these are the obelisks. They were unusable before, these things. So that's also new. Nice. Every few runs you unlock something new. At least uh, in the early game where I'm at. I also uh, gain... Let me show you... The skill point, skill tree. So, I also have this skill. While standing still, Linda's damage increases with each arrow loosed, so I should be standing still instead of moving. But I also have this, which decreases the stamina. Basically, when you move and shoot at the same time, you can see that blue bar on the bottom left. That is used up. To balance it out. Of course, um... That stamina is different for everyone. For example, for John, that stamina is for blocking. You block hits. For as long as you have that stamina. A not so innocent game of chance and memory. Oh no. That is new. Well, a similar one already existed, but... I don't know what I have to do even. Oh, I think I know. Dodge. Out of the way. So I think I figured it out. I have to go here. 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 And here. Like that. Oh. And it didn't even have an item in it. Oh well. At least I can use the gemstone for more gold. But I did lose uh, quite a lot of health. Let's see. You can also do this with the controller. I can see my gold, my objectives currently. And when I have items then it will also show what those items do. In a really nicely designed way. You can probably... You can uh, also... Um, do the um, uh, tooltips on a uh, keyboard and mouse, but... But I just like it how they did it with the... Right. I just like how they did it uh, for the... Like this, as you can see. Rage regenerates faster. Oh! I have to watch out. These small ones, just a little. This is also probably something I can unlock later on. Maybe.
Got us the obelisk. Oh, this is a lot of spikes. I wonder if I will get that same boss, the Spider King, as I did the before. Canonically he's dead, but is he also actually dead? We'll see. Nice enough. Another obelisk here. I found the exit. Heal a portion of your missing health. Nice. Gold tips. This is what I mean. Look at how well it's made. Right, I have completed this floor. Got another gemstone. Gemstones are also currency. They are not only there to open uh, those locked chests, but they are also here as currency. Oh jeez. One of those. Good. Those are elites. Special monsters with special powers. Game also has combos as you already noticed. I got hit there badly. Shouldn't have gotten hit. But I did. Let's heal up. Take this chest. I can hear more up. I'm gonna go there in a sec. May your waters of purity anoint our afterlife. Oh, hi, Grandma. Nearby lied a plant needed to help this unfortunate local. This? No. Maybe somewhere on this floor. Oh wow. I wonder where that plant could be. Damaged enemies burn in fire. Oh, nice. That is an amazing one. Is that it? No. I 
that's just an ex experience boost. Instead. Fetch the herbs Margaret needs to cure the refugees. Often I just, uh, those bombs, often I just hit them by accident and then run into them before they explode. So that's a thing that I often do. So far so good. As long as I don't take uh, more damage than the floor can give me back in health. Oh, and when you die, you don't actually die. You basically go back. And you get to keep everything. Well, not everything. You get to keep the gold and experience. Temporarily increase rage gain. Protector that provides armor and occasionally negates all incoming damage. This is created chance. Create the vortex that pulls enemies in. Well, I found the boss room. But I'm gonna go back for now. More places I need to explore. There it is. That's what I need. No burn, everyone. Perfect. Medicinal plant. Increased movement speed and dodge chance at the cost of losing the ability to evade. No. Should pick it up. Because it's added to the codex, then, then I can at least fill up the codex. Have I completed the floor? Yep, I have. Now to just get back to the refugees and help them. It would take Grandma Margaret some time, but the worst is over. Nice. Increased crit hit chance. Yes, please. Crits will be very useful against this boss. Let's see how I can how I can actually do it this time. All eight eyes studied the one so willing to walk into their own tomb. Okay, so it is the same boss. What? But that's different. He hasn't done his usual thing. This is what he usually does, but before that he also summons ads. Now he does it. What? He has done the same thing every single time and now he has changed it up. 
Maybe because I beat him. That is a finish. That run lasted a while, didn't it? But I do like these longer dungeons. As the conversation turned to the progress of the corruption, Mary was curious to know which village had been attacked this time. However, that worry gave way to panic when Lucy entered. Poor beasts, all slaughtered. Maybe something had infected them. The corruption was on their doorstep now. Well done. Always eager to fight, Kevin's new exercise resembled a dance more than a fighting technique. With all the noise he was making with his practicing, the family might have trouble sleeping tonight. Haha. <laughs> if the corruption has infested the animals, it could just as well infest the vegetation. I can get it a more good chance or I can armor up. I'm gonna armor up. And I'm gonna showcase the second dungeon a little bit. And also... Sean. As a playable character. Scattered bones, stripped clean of flesh, lay in stark contrast to the dead left untouched. Hunger and malice thrived, the lost trenches, the new residence of the goblin hordes. I can definitely see its horde. No way. More gold. This right. Increased luck. her line of sight. Too many for her alone threatened the lives of innocents. Things like this is what I mean when I think that maybe these are meant for co-op. Oh no, this guy. This is the first time I managed to kill one. They are always the end of my run. 
Matthew skill point. Unleash your rage temporarily become invulnerable and deal torn damage to attackers. Increase John's armor. Plus 7%. I think I'm gonna go with this one first. Because it's the rage skill. a lot. Hi. These refugees would not soon forget seeing the Bergsons fight for them. And then she leaves. And that's how the co-op uh, bots work. Only way is to go right. down you as well I died, but I can show you what happens when you die. This is all. This is all that happens. Just go back. Oh. While painful for a mother to see her son in sickness was still better than missing him for so long, Mary knew that she would make caring for Mark her mission. Mark had to warn them about the dangers approaching, despite how difficult it was to talk. He started naming the villages that were evacuated, or worse, taken over by the corruption, but soon succumbed to fatigue and fell asleep. Mary recalled hearing of an herbalist in Caldipo Caves that would have the yarrow at hand needed to treat Mark. The Bergsons would once again need to brave the treacherous caves in search of the herbalist. Interesting. At least we got him back. More damage. Always nice. So, I've shown you two dungeons, two characters. And I think I have previewed, or I have shown you enough of the game so you can see at least what it's about. But I will definitely continue playing and uh, you should be, you sh should see a full on review soon. Because I really, really like this game already. So a full recap is definitely in the list. But if you want to see more of the story on the channel, then let me know. And for now, this is it for me. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.